The week of the interview, I had traded babysitting with a close family friend to make sure that I had someone available for the children. On March 20th, 2014, I buckled my one-year-old and my six-month-old. All right, all buckled already? When I arrived at the babysitter's home, there was no answer. No one ever came to the door. I became frantic, but I knew I couldn't miss this interview. I was told that the interview would take about 15 minutes. I got in the car and started driving. At that point, the boys had fallen asleep. I decided I'm gonna go into this interview. I parked the car in the parking lot along the street. When I stepped out of the car, peeked in the back window at the boys and said, 15 minutes, let's go. And the clock started. About seven minutes into the interview, the gentleman I was supposed to meet, let me bring my manager in to meet you. So as the manager's talking, he says, well, this seems great. Why don't we introduce you to the trainer? And the trainer comes in and he's explaining, well, this is what you're gonna make this year. So, I mean, they're giving me the next five years in a blueprint, but I honestly couldn't hear anything he was saying because my mind just kept saying, I've got to get out of here. It was going so well that I knew it was my job. You know this job is going to take care of family. How do you stop that? How do you say, stop the interview? Because I need to go. So I stayed and I listened until he was done talking. And then I got out of there as fast as I could. After I finished the interview, I was on top of the world. And as soon as I turned that corner to the parking lot, my life came crashing down. Well, it came crashing down all right, and the cuffs clanked around her wrist. 911, what is your emergency? There is a baby in a car by itself at my work. A tearful mother behind bars facing child abuse charges tonight. Police say Shanisha Taylor left her little baby and little boy outside of Scottsdale Business yesterday. A passerby spotted them and called police. She heard a baby crying inside, so she looked inside, she saw what turns out to be a two-year-old boy and a six-month-old boy. Those children sweating profusely in the hot car. Police and firefighters got the little boy and his baby brother out, but it would be another 45 minutes before they say Taylor came out of the office. She said she was homeless, she needed the job, she felt as though she had no other option. Tonight, all three of Taylor's children in CPS custody. As we know by now, Shanisha's story did not end there. When people saw this crying mom's mugshot, the donations began to pour in. I spent 11 days in jail, but my mugshot became famous because I was crying. A Valley mother arrested for leaving her young children inside her car during a job interview is getting a lot of attention around the country, and it's not all bad. After about five days in jail, I found out that a woman named Amanda had started a fundraising page. She started an online campaign on youcaring.com for the struggling mother. Like everybody else, I, uh, I saw the mugshot, and the mugshot really touched me. I was completely overwhelmed. In the last week, the donations have been pouring in thousands each day. The fund closed out at about $114,900. In May of 2014 is when I got my first deposit from the fundraiser. It was $51,000, more than I'd ever had at any point of my life. At that point, I felt like we're going to be OK. OK, so Shanisha, this was a dilemma for you, right? I mean, if we turn the clock way back, you, you knew it wasn't a good idea to leave your children in the car. That wasn't what you would want to do. It wasn't what I would have wanted to I do. I mean, that, that, that wasn't a good plan. That wasn't no. what you would plan to do. No. Um, and when you did, you believe you're going to be in there 15 minutes, right? Yes. yes. Um, that seems like an incredibly short period of time for a job interview. I mean, how can a job interview last 15 minutes? Well, it was initially <clears throat> scheduled as a pre-interview just to see if you were a good fit for the position. Okay, it's in March? In March. When you look at what happens, and I, I, I want everybody to know this, outside air temperature, 85, elapsed time, 40 minutes, you're talking about an interior temperature inside the car. It's now up, it can get up to 123, 124, 125 degrees. 
inside the car. And your windows were cracked a little bit. Yes. And they said whenever the police did get there, your youngest was how old? Six months. Six months. That the child was sweating profusely and crying hysterically. Yes.